Hi, my name is Corey Smith and welcome to How to Fly a Quadcopter Part 2. In this video, I'm going to try to explain bank turns. They're not extremely hard, but they're really hard if you don't understand how it actually works. So in order to start a bank turn, you have to be going forwards. Once you're moving along at a decent speed, like 5 miles per hour maybe, you're going to apply a little bit of aileron which will rotate the quad. But once you're at this point, if you were to just continue on, your quadcopter would just go like that. So in order to keep it from doing this, you have to pull up on your elevator to do this. But if you were to just pull up on your elevator, then you would just be doing a crazy loop thing. So while pulling up on your elevator, you also need to be applying yaw motion. And that's how you get the nice smooth bank turn like turn things. If you find that you constantly have to be applying aileron to keep it from falling off the turn while you're in the middle of your bank turn, then you're most likely not using enough rudder. The more rudder you use, that's actually going to lift the quadcopter out of the turn. But if you use less rudder, then it's going to start going farther in and fall. So in order to keep the quadcopter in turn, you have to be applying constant elevator and constant rudder. And then you need to adjust your aileron so that the quadcopter doesn't either fall or raise out of the turn. Oh yeah, and before you do bank turns, you need to be pretty confident with nose in hovers and also forward flight in general. A quadcopter flies very similar to a helicopter. So if you're having trouble learning in real life, you can always buy a flight simulator. They range in price from around $20 to $300. But if you're just trying to learn the basics, you can get one for around $30. Just make sure that when you learn on the simulator, you're practicing with helicopters and not the quadcopters because the simulator quadcopters are just terrible. I don't know why, but every single time I fly a quadcopter in the simulator, it's nothing like real life. So if there's something I missed or you have any questions, leave a comment in this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to go to my site, myfirstdrone.com, and I'll see you another day.